Hey guys, Jordy here with FixMyCabinet.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to alter a single oven cabinet so a double oven will fit. Here's some of the tools you might need. You might need a skill saw. I use that to cut the plywood off to length. A sawzall to cut apart the oven cabinet. Small table saw for ripping pieces for your rails or your styles. And a chop saw to cut your rails and styles off with. As you can see this is the old single oven. Here's a shot of the new double oven still in the package. Alright, I've got some black laminate here, plastic laminate Formica. I bought this just in case I damage any of the Formica edges on the oven whenever I'm pulling them off. The customer agreed that I could just use black because it's a discontinued plastic laminate. Now I was able to peel the front pieces of laminate off of the oven cabinet that went from across on the rails um, without breaking them. The way that I did that is I used a razor knife to just kind of barely score in between the shelf and the plastic laminate. Then I worked a putty knife in behind very gently and took a hammer and just tapped it in between the plywood rail and the Formica laminate and worked it really slow. It took me about 10 minutes per piece to get them off of there because it was really old plastic laminate. Okay, here's my oven cabinet up against the wall. I've already got the shelves out and I took the doors off. You can see the plastic laminate color is really old and discontinued. But in order to get these shelves out, I cut them with a Sawzall. Um, you can get a Sawzall from Harbor Freight for about $25, pretty cheap. And then it had rails that came across, pine rails that came across the oven cabinet here. I cut those out also with the Sawzall. I had two shelves. Now when you're tearing out the shelves, a lot of times you're going to have nails and staples that are sticking out. You can grab a hold of that with a pair of electrical cutters or dikes. And if you just wiggle it back and forth, it will eventually just break right off inside of the board and there's no nails sticking out at all. Here's my bottom shelf installed. What I did is I've got two three-quarter inch thick pieces of plywood. I picked up from Home Depot. I just bought a whole sheet and had them rip it at 24 inches, which was the depth that I needed. And then underneath, I just put some one by two cleats to rest it on, screwed it to the side of the cabinet. And you can see in the front, I already had some face frame pieces where the shelf rests right on top of those for support. All right, now I picked up a piece of white laminate from a cabinet shop. I got my plywood cut. I'm going to stick the white Formica onto this shelf. You want to have your Formica be about an inch larger both ways. Hold it up high with one hand. And get it placed properly with your other hand. Let it overhang about a quarter of an inch or a half inch. You can see I've got an overhang here. And then just gently lay it down. You want to take a J-roller, your router, routing in a counterclockwise direction. Now we've got our top shelf in place. You can see I put some cleats underneath for support. Alright, now we just put the frame piece on here that makes it flush with the outside frame this three quarter by inch and a half piece and you can see we put a piece of white laminate across the edge of that. Now on this bottom shelf we had to put some shims in behind the frame piece so that we could get it perfectly in line with where it needed to be for our new piece of laminate to fit nice and flush. Now we need to prepare our laminate strips. This is the finished side. You can see on the back side we have some wood and glue from where we peeled it off. The way that you get that off is you use a putting knife that has a beveled edge on it. And you want to just push in that direction. Don't pull back towards you too much because it will bend the laminate and it could break. But you always want to just keep pushing away from you like that until you get it off. And we're going to glue our strips on with a contact adhesive. This is a high strength spray. And I've got a protective board or piece of laminate here so it doesn't spray inside of the cabinet. Spray the contact glue on there. 
You need to spray the laminate also. Okay, we got our laminate edges on the outside, the top and the bottom. I want to file that edge smooth. We're going to have to cut the cabinet door down to fit the new opening size. The door also has a special hinge where you can see right here it has a groove and on the back side it gets a groove. We'll have to cut that out as well. Here's our oven cabinet with the doors we cut down. There's your double oven opening size and the doors attached at the bottom. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Jordy Cristo with FixMyCabinet.com. Have a great day.